Welcome to the inventory walkthrough of our 2021 Unity MB. We're going to start with the very first compartment on the driver side. We see a gray flip top container along with all of our heavy duty liquids and our water regulator with a RV water filter. Some fishing pliers a locking tow hitch and some microfiber cloths. Front row starting at the left we have our 20 amp dog bone, our 50 amp dog bone, a spare RV water filter, a 0G fresh water hose, a tarp, a replacement propane regulator as they seem to fail a lot, some T9 bow shield and a 3-in-1 lock, lubricant, our little saw for uh, cutting branches if required, the Mercedes Torx tool for taking the drive shaft if you have an emergency towing situation, the lug nut removal tool, a quick disconnect and a right turn elbow along with some more microfiber cloths, a digital volt meter, and a small mop sponge for doing other types of cleaning. In the next row we have roadside lights for an emergency, some spare items to make additional dog tethers, dry lube, all the 3-in-1 products for RVs, the invisible glass window cleaner, a water bandit for hoses that don't have an end, in the next row we have reusable cable ties, a wrap it up cord retainer, happy camper uh, for our gray tanks, it's, uh, another package of microfiber cloths, uh, a container of Andro's fire ant killer, a spare locking hitch pin, uh, some fishing pliers and some fishing line. In the next bin we have assortment of electrical devices along with a spare hose. Starting with the Viair RV air compressor. Next to that we have a spare container of heavy-duty rubber gloves, our cable wire, our fishing tackle box, an extension cord for the 30 amp. We have a Progressive Industries 30 amp surge suppressor that is redundant along with some locks for chaining it to the pole, a 0G regular water hose for washing the RV in a watertight container. Moving on to our macerator with a clear section so we can see the color of the water some Clorox wipes, some gloves, our zero G blue freshwater hose, and a container with some O-rings and extra uh, plug caps for our freshwater supply. We're now going to move on to the storage compartment right next to the front door on the passenger side. On this side we're going to take everything out of here that we store in here. A Pico chair, a Nemo stargazing chair, we can fit two of them in there. Our Camco 5500 barbecue grill which pairs up perfectly with the leisure travel van regulator. The orange blanket is a bug shield for Wrigley's pen a couple of cans of yard guard fogger, our 20 amp 12 gauge extension cord, a spare can of yard guard, two Duraflame logs for campfires, and Wrigley's leash and tether. We normally carry two Nemo stargazing chairs, but we've been using the Pico chair extensively now. 
the Pico chair is much smaller and is proving to be a wonderful addition to the RV. Moving on to the back of the RV, the large storage container, which is the most important container we have in the Unity MB because it's the only one that really gives us large areas to store bulky items. As you can see in here, we have a lot of stuff jammed in here and the bicycle items are not currently in this video. Starting all the way on the left, we have Wrigley's dog pen made up of tent stakes and some fabric that was sewn together. Some campfire stakes for cooking marshmallows. My fishing rod. Starting at the bottom, we've got some heavy duty rope. A little 20 amp dog bone, some manuals, the retaining suction cups that hold that giant door open, my tool bag, which would be another video, gorilla tape, some macerator hose protector, a fabric tablecloth that fits the largest picnic tables, two clip on battery operated fans that work great in the Florida heat, a tarp, the strong back folding chair is actually my favorite chair. The compact table is what we used to set the grill up on, but we no longer use it for the grill because we got a 10 foot extension cord for the propane grill and it fits on the table that Leisure Travel Van provided us with. In the back row you see a 10 foot collapsing ladder that fits perfectly in the nook along with some pot holders to keep the grill heat from harming the paint on our leisure travel van table. Here you can see how the wire shelves are being utilized and the ladder sits perfectly inside this nook without uh, impeding access to much more than what's right behind that one shelf. This leaves us with a lot of room for the tool bags and for any other accessories that are necessary at the bottom. Below the large storage is the small storage container that we store all the other miscellaneous items in. Starting with my soap bucket and vehicle detailing items. We have another gray flip lid that barely fits inside this compartment. Starting on the left we have a square soap bucket from a ladder with a scrubbing sponge, some microfiber cloths, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, invisible glass for cleaning our windows, and a Meguiar's wash mitt. Inside the Tupperware bin we then keep the uh, collapsible lantern, a couple of spare lighters, and yet to be finished project to put the screen protectors on the heater, the a work light, and a battery jump box suitable for a diesel motor. On the bottom right we have flame proof gloves that are supposed to work when handling a hot log. Never tried them yet truly hard to believe all this fit in that little compartment. As we step inside the RV you see an M&A mat that has been cut down to size to prevent dust from getting into the RV and here is Wrigley. She is the official owner of the RV and she controls everything that goes on inside. As you can see her bed and her perch between our two Leisure Lounge Plus chairs are all about her and she is quite proud of her setup. Here in our kitchen for traveling our Berkey is stored in the sink with a rigid gray foam ring and another ring for the lid. Here you see our use of the medicine cabinet which is quite full and after eight months of traveling we feel like we've got our medicine cabinet dialed in. We also stole the spice rack out of the kitchen and put it in the bathroom for additional use. 
Under the sink, we store some additional aluminum trays, our first aid kit, some Kleenex, our damp rid for when it's not traveling, and Wrigley is quite interested in what's going on. This cabinet we call the linen closet. We store three to four bath towels, hand towels, washcloths, a gray fabric microfiber sheet, and a couple of rolls of paper towels. On travel day, all of our wet products, all of our liquids go in this container, and they get moved to their appropriate places when we get to the campsite. Here you can see all the items that we actually store inside that cabinet. Hard to believe it all fits in there, but it does. Lysol, sanitizer, Clorox wipes, Tide Pods, some money for the laundry, a box of Kleenex, some bug spray, some fabric treatments, uh, Windex, and foaming hand soap. One of our favorite finds is Dawn Power Wash Foaming Dish Soap. We find that it makes it very easy for us to clean food off of the plates and wipe them off before rinsing them and having food particles go into the gray tank. In the cabinet above our toilet, we store our toilet paper, our black tank treatment tablets, our decalcification tabs for the Truma Aquago, along with some sunscreen. Moving on to the large cabinets, we now have one drawer for Donna. We each get one drawer for our clothes. And she's also got our games and a drawer for my clothes and uh, our camera. In the big closet, we have our coats, a cooler, spare pillows, uh, assorted items like our cutting board, a laundry bag, a luggage bag, and Wrigley's backpack that we use to carry her around. A quick sidebar is that we have went with van made gears, fantastic fan covers that uh, cu attach with magnets that you install above the bezel and it is a very strong connection and it makes our RV much cooler. We're very happy with these fan covers. Now moving on to our pantry. We start out with dog treats, popcorn, some soup, mints, pasta, now all of our different seasonings that we need. For this trip it's going to be a very short trip so we're not really loaded up for our pantry very much. On our next shelf we've got syrup, oil, different oils, sugar, Splenda, coffee, all of our assorted trash bags, uh, grocery bags, dog food, pancake mix, mac and cheese, Ziploc bags. Our microwave doubles as our bread storage as we don't use the microwave too often. In our freezer we have a bottle of Stoli vodka, a bag of ice, four meatballs with red sauce, some pierogies, Klondike bars, and Reese's peanut butter cups. We are going to have a great weekend. I'm not going to go into great detail on everything that we're carrying in the refrigerator. I'm only going to point out that we work very hard to make sure that we don't touch the back and everything's got good space around it and we try not to overfill the Dometic absorption refrigerator because they're prone to freezing up and having temperature issues. In the cabinet above our sound bar we keep our cereal, cookies, snacks, and our martini glasses as well as our MiFi hotspot and the rack for our microwave oven that is filled with bread. In the cabinet above the left side of the soundbar, we keep our most used appliance, which is the electric skillet. We use it for making everything from pancakes to hash browns to pierogies. Above that, we've got our paper plates, our Tupperware, an ice cube tray, and a water pitcher for filling our Berkey. Down below, we keep a flashlight and a level for verifying our auto leveling system. 
The cabinet to the right of the TV is used primarily for electrical devices. In this case we have an Amazon Fire Stick, a Google Chromebook with an assortment of movies that we've digitized from our DVD collection, as well as our DVDs for when we have no access to internet or when internet is very costly. Down below we keep a small little Tupperware container with every fuse that's used in this panel or in the panel underneath the seat of the Mercedes. On travel days our Berkey rests in the sink with two foam rings to prevent it from rattling or moving around. Donna has found two silicone mats that fit on the glass cooktop that expand her work surface and make it safer for her to put items on the cooktop. In the cabinet above the sink, we store solo cups, placemats, napkins, our Corel dishware, both plates and bowls, our coffee pot and coffee filters, as well as our scrubber. In the cabinet to the left of the sink, we store all of our glassware. We made a rigid foam storage rack for keeping all of our custom items together. The first drawer below the stove top we keep all of our silverware in a custom foam insert that matches all of our cutlery. In our second drawer we keep a set of tongs, two ceramic knives, four steak knives, a can opener, our wine opener and two corks for wine bottles. In the next drawer we have an instant read thermometer, a pair of scissors, some spatulas and plastic spoons, a grill scraper, some scoops, a zester grater for cheese, a non-contact thermometer, a silicone brush, a few straws, and some toothpicks. In our bottom drawer we have our remaining utensils as well as more aluminum trays and it's our general junk drawer. Now moving to the cabinet under the sink we can see it is quite packed and it will be difficult to see all the items that we have jammed in here until I get them all out onto the counter. Beginning on the left we have an assortment of aluminum pans we use for cooking on the grill, a storage container for mixing drinks, our dog's uh, bowls, a collapsible dish strainer and the rack for our microwave or nested bowls, some Clorox wipes, uh, three pots and pans with a strainer, two cutting boards, our tea kettle for making hot water for coffee, and a roll of Reynolds wrap. We also store a couple of bottles of wine, but they're not seen in this picture. In the right-hand nook in the front of the RV, we store our two-way radios, assorted electronics and cords, and a composition notebook for taking notes. In our middle cabinet, we store all of our bedding, our heavy blankets, as well as all the manuals to the RV, which are stored behind the safe. In the final cubby, we have our curtains and some miscellaneous electronics. In the closet by the front door we have our dog leashes, some umbrellas, matches, our hats, as well as a broom and a Swiffer that is not seen in here. In the bottom compartment not shown we store our shoes. The curtain that was provided was not much of a thermal break nor did it provide us the protection of our dashboard so we went with the Van Essentials product and it is really keeping the RV much cooler and darker. For our last item we have a custom made receiver hitch that has been cut and re-welded to get the correct offset to get our bikes as far off the ground as possible while leaving a sufficient gap to avoid touching the painted bumper. I hope everybody has enjoyed our walkthrough of all the items that we feel are essential for enjoying our RV for vacations. Have a great day.